I'm not really sure what I'm watching, Kat. There's so much for choice, but hey, look who I have here with me this morning. A whole bunch of people that's supposed to be drawing, but they're looking at me right now. Guys, you have to start drawing now already. Okay, so <laughs> 35 doodle sessions, hundreds of man hours, 5,000 drawings have been created and donated by, well, talented individuals from across the country and across the world. Now, I'm extremely inspired because I was told today that it wasn't actually 5,000. It was, in fact, 8,000 drawings that was donated for a really good cause. Now, tonight, there's a big sale happening. It's a fundraiser of all the amazing art that people around the world drew in order to raise funds for a school in retreat in Cape Town. And with us in studio, we've got Shani there on the other side, busy drawing. Mr. Janssen, the principal of the school. We've got Andy, who is a cartoonist. Andy, you can wave now. Hello, <laughs> and then we've got our learners from the school as well. Shani, let's start with you. I mean, what made you start this campaign? Let's call it a world design project. You know, what made you start a, a campaign where you call it a thousand drawings, but you've raised more than 8,000 drawings for a really good cause. So it was actually started in Johannesburg in 2006 by two buddies who were volunteering for an inner city feeding program. And one day the bucky that they used to deliver meals got stolen. Why? Um, they were 24, they didn't have the money to replace it, but they could draw and their friends could draw and they kind of realized that actually everybody could just doodle, you know, when you're on the telephone and just doodling away. Mm. So they started hosting doodle sessions and they managed to raise enough money from a one night exhibition in 2006 that bought a brand new Bucky and now the project has spread worldwide. So when it was World Design Capital coming up, I just decided, come, let's do this one again. Cape Town. Time to yeah. do it again. Bring in mm -hmm. everyone's art to raise funds. Andy, you're a world-renowned uh, cartoonist. We know you're here in South Africa. Being someone who, I can say, carries a little bit of weight when it comes to drawing, what is it like for you being part of something that can change people's lives? Well, you're quite right. Drawing does change people's lives. I mean, for example, me just being here has elevated me from just being a humble Catonian to being an international drawing superstar. <laughs> so thank you very much for that, although it's not true. But anyway, so the thing about drawing is that, you know, there was a time when playing the guitar was the thing. When I, back when I was a youngster, playing the guitar was the thing. You plugged into the amp and you reached a million people. Today, drawing through um, the social media achieves the same thing. So. All sorts of kids, all sorts of young people who have brilliant talent which wasn't previously recognized now get the opportunity to have their talent recognized. And so drawing has taken off. And Shani is just one of a number of people who are like moving and shaking to get young people drawing. Shani, tonight's exhibition, tell me more about it. It's um, a Good Hope Center, 5 p.m. It's 100 rand um, to enter. That 100 rand entitles you to go and purchase an artwork. That 100 rand is going towards the upliftment of the Thomas Waltzkit Primary School and Retreat, which these learners are from, and this is Mr. Janssen, the principal. Um, it's going to be an epic evening full of like live bands, DJs, VJs, um, a live painting. We're going to have a silk screening t-shirt booth, so you come and pick a design and have it done, created right out there on your t-shirt. And the space is looking beautiful. We set it up yesterday, and it's just like you walk in, and there's just eight, over 8,000 doodles. So a whole bunch of drawings of people yeah. that literally volunteered, and they're raising funds for uh, helping children to learn. But Mr. Janssen, you're from the school. You're the principal of the school. We call it a school in retreat. What school are you from? I'm from Thomas Zoskut Senior Primary. Mm -hmm. We're from grade 4 to 7. And, of course, you heard we're the beneficiary of this mm. um, project. And it's going to be to beautify our school, mm. um, uh, renovate uh, toilets, classrooms, and a whole bunch of things. A whole bunch of things. Yeah. It's exciting being part of it. And I've got also our kids here who's doodling away because I heard that not only people from around the world and uh, Andy, who's a renowned South African uh, cartoonist, but also our children took part. Jeremy, what was it like for you being part of this? Well, it, it expressed my passion for drawing. Oh, wow. Your passion for drawing. Yeah. What's it like learning? Grab that microphone. Do you enjoy learning? And, and what will this mean for you? It, will be, it is nice to draw and sit in groups and create new ideas mm -hmm. and to express our feelings in the drawings and draw about nature and all that stuff. Okay, so you're having fun. What do you enjoy most about school? I enjoy learning new things and being helpful and helping other kids who have difficulties. Mm. And I enjoy acting actually listening to what the teachers are telling us and the knowledge that they're putting inside us. Oh, wow, okay. And, and what are you busy drawing there? Tell me quickly. Well, I do, I'm do. i drawing an HIV ribbon and uh, I wrote there, peace is best, because even if you have HIV or you're sick with anything, you still need friends and there still needs to be peace. 
You guys are such an inspiration. Show your, show your pictures to the camera there. We want to see what you've been doing. Because it's all about our kids here, shiny in our studio, and, and people literally changing lives with our 1,000 drawings, as we call it. Shani, we hope that you have a, an amazing crowd that comes out tonight and that you get the support that you've been working very hard at. Okay? Thank you. Learners, thanks for joining us. Mr. Janssen, thank you. Andy, thanks for joining thanks us this well. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is your Feel Good Breakfast show. We told you, Feel Good stories coming your way. And Jeremy as well. Who are you waving at? <laughs> My family. Your family, okay. <laughs> Jeremy's way. <laughs> his family as well. Well, there's lots more happening on this show. In fact, Graham, you've got more. <laughs>